People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. JMC 2921, with respect to lowering LDLC, LDL cholesterol, is it true that PCSK9 inhibitors have absolutely no beneficial effect on all-cause mortality or even cardiovascular mortality. The last time I looked, that was true. Be careful before you jump to a lot of conclusions. I think that's one of the reasons for that is that LDL is maybe not quite the risk factor that most people continue to assume. Now, there's some other extenuating circumstances though to be aware of. Number one is there's PCSK9s, for those of you who don't know, that's the new super drugs that really lower cholesterol, LDL, more than any drug that we've had in the past. They're still significantly expensive. A lot of folks thought we were just going to do away with heart attack and stroke once we had that drug available. The discovery on that drug was the opposite of what we've always done in the past. Find a new chemical somewhere in the world, out in the Amazon or with rapamycin, for example, on the island of Rapa Nui. The drug companies, when a new organic chemical like that was found, would catalog them and then use them later to see what sort of impact, if any, they had on biological and therefore medicine activities. They did it differently for PCSK9s. With PCSK9s, they started doing surveys of people and they found a few people, one specifically a teenager in Texas who had very low LDL. And they started looking at her genetics and ended up going back to copy her genetics. So they did it the opposite way of how we've done drug discovery in the past. So that's actually become a big deal since then. Anyhow, bottom line, have they wiped out heart attack and stroke? No, they haven't. Can we assume that they don't have any impact? I think it's still a little bit early to assume that, JMK, and here's why. Number one, even though cardiovascular disease is the number one, and depending on how you count it, number three causes of death, still, it's only one in three. So, in other words, cause a very significant impact on cardiovascular death before it's going to show up in all-cause mortality. You bring up a good point when you say, or even cardiovascular mortality. Again, very good point.